Hey, here we are again with another anime reaction and this time Overlord Season 4, Episode 1. Yeah, I've watched Overlord Season 1, 2 and 3 like years ago when it was released and I was enjoying it, I loved it. The whole setting, everything and I was praying since end of Season 3 that we would get more Overlord. I was praying and hoping and last year I think it was, uh, we, it got announced that Overlord Season 4 would come and I was hyped immediately because I love it. But yeah, now it's finally time. Overlord Season 4 is here. And I would say, let's go into Episode 1. Oh my god, we start with Albedo! <laughs> Perfect start. Indeed, what is his plan with the nation? They wouldn't allow that. They would be like, no, we can't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Fancy skeleton. He's like, nope, that's too much. This is embarrassing. Oh, is this one of those lip bugs that Antoma had? Our oh, waifu's back. <laughs> He's like, calm down. We have a kingdom to lead. Nothing important, just stuff for the kingdom. I don't, I don't understand. Of course, because you are supreme, laws are like so completely unusual to you that you don't even think about them so of course you don't understand them <laughs> man i love it when albedo flaps her wings it's <laughs> it's so cute uh oh oh <laughs> oh of course he slipped well. That's why it's an anonymous. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, that's a good thing. Could raise like his standing with the people in the kingdom if he does stuff for the people that have it like the worst like widows Nigrido mm. I think that's Al uh, Al one of Albedo's sisters <laughs> huh? Oh we'll see Aura and Mare I wonder how many characters we see this episode. Oh, Pick me up. And on the lap she goes. And of course, Albedo... Oh yeah, she's jealous. Oh, Albedo... <laughs> I still want to be on your lap. 24 hours, 7 days a week? <laughs> Pick me up! I ain't summer! Mm, damn! Let me be eins. Oh, she smelled? Uh oh. <laughs> he said too much. <laughs> Dude. Oh. <laughs> you look like a pervert. Oh. 
I mean, I can't blame him. Yeah. In season 2, I think, Dark Elves got mentioned already, but we've never seen them. <laughs> Which matter? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, makes sense. They are probably all afraid. She wants to leave. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll be back in a blink if it's for you. Let's see it. Of course! <laughs> the two, the two cross-dresser talk about cross-dressing. <laughs> I'm scared. Why is the Death Knight with them? It's kind of weird. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yo. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pandora's Echo is so funny. <laughs><笑><笑><笑> Wait, I thought he couldn't go into the treasury with the ring. Didn't he say to Alberto uh, that she has to give up her ring when she wants to go into the treasury? His <laughs> son should surpass his father. <laughs> I mean, he did the same with Cocutus. Oh, question time. Again, what is... How, one, uh, how does he want to rule the kingdom? I mean, I... Don't think they will be enslaved and sent to war. I mean, Eins can do a war by himself. We've seen that in in season three. Very effective. I mean, one Death Knight is as strong as hundreds of soldiers. <laughs> mm, they're all afraid. Because normally they had, they were protected from monsters, and now monsters are in the city, in the kingdom. And probably because less people are coming to the kingdom now, because Ainz is there, the undead knights are there, they are afraid. Okay. お前は冒険者たちには王国や帝国に行くように進め、ガランドウになった組合を私は。おお。お前は刺す人々を守るために存在するからです。だから。お前は刺す人々とは人間種という意味なのか。と申しますと。Oh, now we get into the ethics. Mm -hmm. Good question. Because they are slaves. <laughs> oh, and the eyes is like, yep, we are just beginning here. Let's sit down. <laughs> Mm. 
help is needed in some place, then my army, my people can come to your aid and help the guild to solve those problems in my name. So that's very cool, right? And so, man, um, this is awesome. I can't wait. I mean, like I said, slow episode, but nice to see the characters again. I love to see these characters. I love these characters. And it's very interesting now to see where it's going directly. I mean, we have like a rough grasp where it's going, like building the adventure guild to go exploring into uncharted land, basically into the unknown and probably like find new kingdoms or get new allied races that join you, join your kingdom, your cause to flourish your kingdom. Um, and um, all that other stuff that goes on, like building up reputation in the kingdom itself as Eins Orgone, so that people look up to him, start to like him, that they are not afraid of him. And yeah, I can't wait to see more where it's going, where it's, where where the season ends. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see and if you want to support me, you can leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you want. I would really appreciate it. And I would say that's it for this episode. And thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.